Greetings, my name is Isa Bokar C. I am here to present the following topic today, which is Gambia Security Check, Cyber Security, Illicit Flow of Small and Heavy Arms, Compounded with Porous Borders during and after Yah Jamis era. United Nations expertise on curbing and I mean on curbing the illicit flow of small arms and the restructuring armies with structural deficiencies needed in the Gambia during a post Jami era. Um, Gambians home and abroad, yes indeed. We are expected to jubilate, but we should alongside think about the remnants of a tyrant. They are yet to be totally scraped. Uh, presence of economic forces on the Gambian soil is number one threat to former regime's terrorists. If not, they would have been more active. A ring of steel, dormant and weak, but still harbors bad intentions. Who are President Yahya Jammeh's handlers or agents of espionage within the civil and the military sector? Who is Modu Jaju or Colonel Modu Jaju in the army? Call sign B43 reignited with A1 coat. Crack from friendly forces working to put Jammeh team on the defensive, not the offensive. This is call sign B4E giving a very important intel and a message to ECHO Sierra Alpha to information call sign. Fellow Gambians, while we are still celebrating for a landscape democratic victory over one of the worst evil men in our history, while we are still celebrating our team does not intend to change the mood, but instead it is here to avert future shocks from an evil tyrant's network. We want everyone to be informed about the task we still have ahead, which should begin with cleansing and flushing chameleons within the security forces of a great nation. We are small but we are a great nation. Let us ask ourselves this. How was it possible during the past 22 years for the evil regime to, political, to politicize the security forces? To answer this and avoid maintaining it, let us run through the following on a case-by-case -case basis. When we talk about maintain, is to maintain the former status quo within the army or the former side effects from the former status quo within the army. Number one, the army and other branches of the security forces should be screened because we still have a lot of chameleons with it. It is hard to say, but the fact is there are still members of the security forces who are still covertly loyal to the ex-president and he is in touch with them. We have used all the methods to detect this as covert operations like walking in the dark with shadows cannot also be exposed to light. We are warning the new system not to think they have contained the past from all sides from a security perspective. We are warning with authority, if Yahya Jammeh loyalists are not flushed out, they indeed pose a big security threat to the nation. We will not hide this as it should be addressed now, not later. Number two, it is an established fact that high-ranking officers know all those who are not Cambians and they are still in the army. Number three, we must not forget the role of General Musa Sadiq and uh, 
Lieutenant General self promoted Mamadou Aliouba and the South, the roles they play. They kept going on even after or even when the ship was sinking. The history is too recent to be erased from our memories. We challenge Sari to declare the two loaded trucks of things he packed up when leaving Kanilai. They were all stolen stuff from the ex president. Number four, urgent advice to the new government. We have authentic intelligence that some elements of the intel service of the army are still in touch with President Yaya or ex President Yaya Jami. They are the ones passing information to ex President Jami in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea. The state intel services, the newly named SIS of the Gambia, we are also extending this brotherly advice to them that they have to remain vigilant and we know they are vigilant and refuse to exchange notes with some of those chameleons within especially the military intelligence unit. On that note, Colonel Modu Jaju should be investigated right from the second. Another urgent advice is that the whole intel service working closely with Jaju should be dissolved and then if a few filtered and screened personnel replace the army intel for the benefit of all. To conclude, government is being advised to start their cleaning and flushing process in the army while we have the ECOWAS forces in the Gambia. Of course, the army top brass is acting a movie, but among themselves, they, know, they all know who should and should not be a member of the armed forces or who should be maintained or shouldn't be maintained. We are dead serious. A panel should be set up forthwith or a task force to weed those blind loyalists who are there for the ex-president. The army should be apolitical. They should remain in barracks and be answerable to the commander-in-chief of the day, be obeying all lawful orders written or otherwise. If they are not neutralized, we mean the chameleons within the ranks, and contained, we will have unfinished business, as they pose a great threat to the security of the Gambia. Security on expi uh, I mean on, on exposed, or security challenges on earthed, or left unchallenged, are worse than scare tactics from sleeper cells, especially within an army inherited from a tyrant. We understand the need for peace and reconciliation, but that is far different from entertaining a smiling enemy. This message should be taken very seriously. Mark my words, as usual, Jamme do still have loyalists in the army, and they will do anything for him as he has been brainwashing them for years. One of the examples is for us to take a look at the Gunjur Mosque incident. The soldier who came to close and take the keys of the mosque was so daring. He was saying the place belongs to Jam. The only reason why Jamme loyalists are still keeping quiet and acting calm is because of the presence of the economic forces from a very clear source. Colonel Momodu Jaju, or Modu Jaju, the head of the intel in the army, is still answerable to ex-president Jamme. A lot of information is by being passed by him to Jamme, and he knows this is a fact. We know some people are saying his calls are being monitored. Is that so? Jaju may not be using a Gambian number. That is just clue number one. Well, no one would, they, would, would, would say he or she has not been warned or forewarned. Comrades, citizens of the Republic, and fellow citizens on the ground and abroad, stand by and finish the business. We must not underrate an evil tyrant, whether he is in power or not. The faster Yaya Jami is contained, the better, and that is our mission. This is exactly how Charles Taylor was being monitored and contained and then arrested in the bushes of Nigeria when he wanted to do the same. The situation of Jammeh is a replica of Charles Taylor in Liberia. 
Yajame has tested killing and will not stop as long as he has the arms, legs, brain and bad money to do so. The situation we live in calls for constant investigations. Mission for now, or our mission for now, I mean, is to find out more intel about the head of the Intel Service of the Army in the name of Colonel Morijayu and report any more for the classified intel and findings about him, the Eco Sierra, Sierra Alpha. This is a call sign B for E. We must help the new system maintain peace in the Gambia and Senegal. Colonel Morijayu, current head of the Army Intel, we saw two of your men in suits at the airport last week. Think about the rest and stop playing a spy game you barely know anything about. Colonel Jaju, members of his so-called military unit, are indeed enemy combatants in coats in a comfort zone. Worst of all, doing espionage for an, I mean, for an enemy of the state while serving in the army is one of the highest crimes one can commit, especially where the president is democratically elected. Likewise, Jame being lodged in a country that is not close to being a friendly country to the Gambia as we speak is indeed worrisome. Yeah, Jame cannot be lodged in Malabo, be conducting clandestine operations from that island in Equatorial Guinea, and expect Gambian to trust his host. Even though Equatorial Guinea is not a signatory to the ICC. It is a signatory to other international covenants. Men like Jaju, Yankuba Koli, home economics teacher known as Joanna, have been filtered as we speak, and uh, we are definitely screening them through the screening. Thank you very much. This is your brother, Isa Bogarsi.